Hello, welcome to Success Series Education. Here we will tell you something about the Niti Aayog. What is Niti Aayog? Friends, Niti Aayog was established by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the 1st of January 2015 after dissolving the 65 year old Planning Commission. Niti Aayog is established to serve as the government's think tank and to provide strategic and technical advice on policy matters. It stands for National Institution for Transforming India Aayog and it means as you can say Niti means policy or ethics and Aayog means commission so Niti Aayog means policy commission the aims and objectives of niti aayog are to foster cooperative federalism through structured support initiatives and mechanisms with the states to develop mechanisms to formulate credible plans at the village level to pay special attention to the sections of our society that may be at risk of not benefiting adequately from economic progress to design strategies and monitor long term policy and program frameworks and initiatives to provide advice and encourage partnerships between key stakeholders and like minded think tanks to create a knowledge innovation and entrepreneurial support system to offer a platform for resolution of intersectoral and interdepartmental issues to actively monitor and evaluate the implementation of programs to focus on technology upgradation and capacity building for implementation of programs and initiatives friends who all compose the niti aayog the chairperson is the prime minister of our country the vice chairperson is a person nominated by the prime minister then there is a chief executive officer who is also nominated by the prime minister followed by full time members part time members and ex officio members then regional councils can also be formed under the niti aayog and if they are formed as per the need the members would be the chief minister and the administrators of the respective union territories it would have some full time members and part time members which are a maximum of 2 and these would mainly be scholars from universities and research institutions further ex officio members can be a maximum of 4 and they are ministers from the union council of ministers there can also be special invitees which would be appointed by the prime minister for a fixed tenure the chief executive officer of the niti aayog Uh, is appointed by the prime minister and will be similar to the secretary to the government of india in rank what are the differences between the planning commission and its new avatar that is the niti aayog as far as the parameter is of financial clout the niti aayog is an advisory body or a think tank the power to allocate funds might be vested in the finance ministry whereas the planning commission enjoyed the powers to allocate funds to ministries and state governments as far as the full time members are concerned the number of full time members could be fewer in the niti aayog than those were there in the planning commission the last commission had eight full time members The next parameter is the state's role. In the Niti Aayog, the state governments are expected to play a more significant role than they did in the Planning Commission. 
as far as the planning commission was concerned the state's role was limited to the national development council and annual interaction during plan meetings as far as the member secretaries are concerned in the niti ayog they will be known as the ceo or chief executive officer and will be appointed by the prime minister himself whereas in the planning commission the secretaries or the member secretaries were appointed through the usual process as far as the part time members are concerned the number of part time members can depend on the need from time to time in the niti ayog whereas in the planning commission it had only full time members and there was no provision for any part time members thank you for watching this video do subscribe to our channel success cds education